Unit Introduction, the study. Studies are very important. Um, we, we often look around us and see that there are these objects around our room and these objects have uh, shape. And the shapes are interacting with other shapes and all those shapes combined create a form. Okay, so you can look around, maybe you have a mouse and the mouse on your desk has a rounded appeal at the top and then a not so rounded appeal at the bottom. Uh, you can look at your cell phone. There's all kinds of form changes on a cell phone. Form changes exist everywhere. They are what makes up every kind of shape. So let me kind of explain this. This is a study. The study just shows that I have a familiarity with form change. Here, for example, I have a rounded surface that goes off, a more squared off look here. I have a sphere that sits on the top of all this. I have a hole going through the mesh, and I have a beveled look here that stays beveled at a high resolution. Okay, let me hit tab and show you what this thing looks like. Here's the low-level representation of it, and when I hit tab, what it's going to do is add this modifier and give it three levels of subdivide. Okay, But it stays true to itself. The forms do not hurt each other. In other words, this form is flat, and then it starts going into the ball at a very nice transition. Same with this one, flat, and then it goes up to a different form altogether. So I want you to concentrate on more of these form changes than anything else. So don't try to physically model something. Uh, like if you had a stapler on your desk, I don't want you to model the stapler. This is all about abstracts and form change and topology. So I'm going to be showing you examples of this in the next few videos. And at the end, you're going to make a study yourself. And I'll get into that in the assignment. But that's the premise of the lesson. Enjoy, and please move on to the next video.